to benefit from this money we are borrowing from World Bank that they have sent to the National Assembly for approval. The only state that is not benefiting is a river state. I've never felt bitter the way I feel now that, that I don't think we belong to this country. I don't think so. I don't think so. That federal government will go and collect loan and share it to states projects and because uh, weak is the government and therefore the entire state will see, suffer. That is not the whole essence of uh, politics that do that is not it. You don't even need to be a lawyer to know that VAT is not in item 58 and 59 of the second schedule of the constitution of 1999. Everybody knows that. It is not even in the concurrent list. Therefore, it falls under the residual list. It is not agreeable. Some people say, oh, be a brother's keeper. I have no problem in being my brother's keeper. But I will not be a brother's keeper when I know that my, my, my brother is an arm robber. I can't do that. I mean, why would I be a brother's keeper? When I know that you are conniving with an arm robber to do something that's wrong. So every state has own advantages and um, disadvantages. It's your ability to be creative, to know how to turn your own advantage to something that will help your people. It's not to sit somewhere. And you can imagine when the governor says, this fat will not work. What will work is banditry. <laughs> I mean, I can't understand a governor say a judgment of court will not stand. But what will stand is a banditry. So guys, you can see that uh, all these politicians, they know the right thing. Even when people are talking, only God knows the kind of mind they have, especially when it's benefiting them or they are benefiting from it. They tend to look the other way. This is the same thing a lot of people have been saying. You know, from what I just, I can just do this from what he said, that, oh, I don't think we belong to this country. Eh, is it now that you know? All of you are playing to the gallery. Is it now that you know that you don't belong to this country? So when it comes to the issue of VAT, he now, now understands that, hey, oh, you don't, yeah, he hey, you now knows that hey, hey, we don't belong to this country. But if it favors you, if it's okay by you, uh -huh, the rest people, the rest uh, all Nigerians, they can be bound to the Philistines. It's none of your business. But I don't know why they cannot just stand for the truth. Is it not the same thing? Those who are seeking for their own se uh, separate country, if you go and ask, they know. If those who think that they are open-minded eh, and they are really they are really patriotic, go and ask the reason why those who are agitating, those who are calling for secession or breakup of this country, what are their reasons? This is one of the reasons. Many, many reasons. But because now it is affecting WK now. Ah, he now, now, he now knows that, eh, oh, he does not think that we belong to this country. Those are the things that people are talking about. Some people will tell you that we are better being together. Being together doing what? Being together, supporting banditry. Being together, being kid. Being together, continue to uh, languish in poverty. Is that the kind of uh, uh, being together they, they, they are talking about? We are better together. Tell me for the past 60 years, what have we gained? What have we achieved? Nothing. But just tiny fraction of the population that uh, call themselves political elites or politicians, if you may want to call them. Or those who have opportunity to be close close to the, to the cookie jar those are the people that will be telling you we have to do this you have, you have been doing something for over and over again for god knows how how long yet no results for those of them who are not even getting anything you know, anywhere bare face i just believe that it is out of laziness we are because the, with the way we are going you know this has been for a very long time people have been complaining and as the more people complain the more people talk about the happenings in this country the more the country is going down, down. It's not as if maybe we are even getting some kind of relief. The whole situation is getting worse. And you expect Nigerians to continue like this. And you want everybody to continue to fold their hands and begin to watch other people like slaves. It, does not, it doesn't work that way. Everybody or everybody cannot be caged. All the people cannot be caged at time, uh, 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 all the time. They can't be caged. Now it's coming to the issue of that. Ah, I don't think we belong to this country. But when other people are saying it, that it's even hurting them, 
Everybody is supporting you now because that is the right thing to do. But like Biafrans, like uh, the Odudua agitators, once they speak, they say, oh, uh, these guys don't know what they are talking. They don't know what they are doing. What is the meaning of this? What is the meaning of that? They want to divide the Nigeria. The Nigeria that everybody is, is crying, majority of the people, 95, what is 95%? 99% of the population is, is crying. Just the tiny fraction. And because they have acquired a lot of money, they are using that to silence even the 90-something percent of the people who are complaining. Now today, now today we will not say we will not belong to this country. All of you are playing gallery to them. Is it not the same uh, you that went to go and give a uh, Sokoto state when they are, I don't know whether their, their market got burnt. 50 million naira. Is it 50 million naira or 500 million naira? I don't I can't even really remember. And meanwhile, as at that time, the pensioners in the state were crying that they have not been paid. I don't think whether they have even been paid. Now, money that's supposed to be made to better the lives of the people, they will still use it anyhow. It comes to the issue of start now, tax now, be that, oh, I don't think we are together. No, we are together. By the time they do your bidding now, everybody will be together. I, I support the one Nigeria. I support it. You continue to support it. The one Nigeria is what you you are complaining that you don't want it to be because what is in the in the constitution or what the court has already stipulated that this is how it ought to go. They say it's not going to go like that and you are not crying. You are crying. So you want to tell me that you want you don't want to see reasons with uh, those who are calling for separation of this country. Even restructuring, I don't think this man is even is even is, is even clamoring for that. I don't think he's really pushing hard for that. We need to tell ourselves the home truth. People are crying. People cannot just even feed a day. But all of them are eating and wasting food and throwing it away. And expect Nigerians to continue to, or some people to continue to, to fold their hands and begin to watch you guys. What kind of a thing is this? And, and before you know, a lot of people are beginning to even offend God by saying, God, why did you even create me? It's a mistake that you created me. You know, God cannot make mistake. You know, because it has gotten to that level. And I'm sure God Himself will understand when people begin to say, "Why, why, why was I created in this in this country? Why? What kind of a people is this?" And they are not changing, you no. Know? You when you see some of them coming out to say the things that the people are talking about at times, or they are aligning with what the people are talking about, it is when they feel that uh, they are not gaining something, and that is exactly what we keep doing. What makes you think that, uh, oh, I understand what the agitators are talking about? I understand what Nigerians are feeling. The same way you are pained, the same way you are angry, is the same way other people are angry. And the next thing, you tag them, the next thing, you send soldiers to go and get rid of them. Because you have immunity and you are speaking, now do you know what they, they would have done to you as well? Then those who do not have immunity, you say, go and finish them. So guys, let's say your opinion on what is said.